Welcome to Madison Handy Points. Today our topic is diffusion capacity of lungs for carbon monoxide. In short, DLCO slash KCO. DLCO and KCO are same thing, so don't confuse it. We'll not waste time on this. If you have not subscribed to the channel, please subscribe for future interesting videos. So let's proceed. DLCO test is a measurement to assess the lungs ability to transfer gas from inspired air to the bloodstream. In fact, it checks the integrity of the lung parenchyma. How it is performed? It is very simple. You inhale air containing small amount of carbon monoxide and a tracer gas like helium. You hold your breath for 10 seconds, then exhale. The exhale air is checked for the tracer gas and that then indirectly give us the amount of the carbon monoxide which is diffuse. Now most important slides are coming up so I need your focus uh, when we do the LCO test. So if a spirometry is done and it shows a restrictive pattern, it means three possible causes. Number one is lung problems like pulmonary fibrosis can cause a restrictive pattern. Number two is chest wall problems like scoliosis also causes restrictive pattern on spirometry. Neuromuscular problem like polio, GBS and myasthenia gravis also causes restrictive pattern on spirometry. Now, here we need some help because we are confused. So to narrow narrow down the differentials, we do DLCO test and it will help us. So DLCO test will tell us whether the restriction on spirometry is due to lung problem or chest wall problem or neuromuscular problem. So it help us in narrow down the differentials. So once we have done the test, now we have to interpret it. In lungs problem, DLCO is decreased because the integrity is lost. Chest wall problem, DLCO is normal. Neuromuscular problem, DLCO is normal because the lung integrity is intact. In short, it tells us the lung is normal or not in restrictive pattern as we discussed earlier and as we also discussed earlier it helped us narrow down the differentials so i think you understand what we discussed so far so let's give it a twist so far we discussed low or normal dlco what if dlco is raised more carbon dioxide is absorbed so there are a few conditions. The top three conditions are asthma. It is thought because of the increased vascularity in the asthmatic patient in the lungs. This DLCO is increased. Obesity, it is thought that lung volume increases, which also increases DLCO. And in pulmonary hemorrhage, there are more blood in the lungs, so it absorbs more carbon monoxide. So DLCO is increased. I hope you like the video and please subscribe to to the channel for future interesting videos.